Any sign of him? Negative. Going up 48th Street for another pass. Copy that. The story starts with Iron Man searching for an unknown individual that was seen leaving the room where Peter Parker's body resides. Peter was beaten to death in the previous issue by a resurrected Moreland, which isn't as surprising as one might think, considering that ever since their first encounter, Peter has been dying from an unknown mystical affliction and even had prophetic visions of his death by his hands. Luke Cage tries to protest that no one can jump from a building of that height without anyone noticing, but Cap claims that they don't know the nature of it or what it even did with Peter's body before leaving. Mary Jane is even optimistic enough to think that it was Peter himself. Mary Jane, Peter's... Peter's dead, MJ. You have to accept that. Do I? She claims he has been presumed dead numerous times and was once even buried. His body is in the other room, MJ. Is it? Whatever happened to Peter? Whatever is or is not in that room? It's just a shell. What I loved in Peter was what was inside. And nothing can kill that. Nothing. We then cut to a view of the Brooklyn Bridge, where a strange cocoon is stuck on one of its piers. Wake up. Wake up! <gasps> Confused, Peter gets up and finds himself in a jungle, and it doesn't take long for something to grab his attention. Ah! It bit me! What's wrong, Peter? The spider! It bit me! Over there! Young Peter tries to warn of the giant arachnid, saying it'll kill everyone that gets close to it, leaving his webbed up loved ones in despair. Look out, stop him! But the dreamscape immediately shows another flashback, the infamous moment when Peter refused to stop Carradine, which as young Peter just warned, means the giant spider has started its misfortune with Uncle Ben. Good night, Uncle Ben. Good night, Peter. Goodbye. The unpleasant memory forces Peter to vomit, but not before being immediately interrupted by a mysterious figure standing on one of the tree's branches. Little spider, little man, doesn't understand, never understood what you were, what you are. He essentially claims that Peter never fully appreciated the gift that was given to him, always suppressing the more animalistic spider side when he should be embracing it to the fullest. What do you think? The question is why? He then further elaborates how Peter always saw the spider side as nothing but a mere suit, a husk, one that he can take off at will, even though it is still inside him. But now, the spider has taken you off. You are a fool. Claiming he favors superficiality over his true nature, the figure then unravels the mystery of what happened at the beginning of the story. It was Moreland who came into the room, but Peter, now dead and fully possessed by his spider self who refused to die, has easily overpowered the totem hunter and fed on him, an ability that Moreland himself is infamous for. And then it escaped to make the cocoon under the bridge in order to be reborn. But the question remains, reborn as what? And perhaps just as important, why? He claims that what may emerge from the healing can be more of the same thing, or it can be different. For as the spider can shed its skin to cleanse itself from all the troubles of the past, this time, Peter may accept the spider. Be the man you are. But now, at last, embrace the other. Embrace us. Peter submits to the demands of the deity, and it wastes no time in plunging its sharpened legs to both sides of his chest. Do not struggle. The pain you feel is the agony of birth. As Peter has finally awoken from his dreamscape, the cocoon under the bridge cracks, and he is released from it, bloody. But he immediately jumps into the sea, as his first act in resurrection is to cleanse himself. In the meantime, his family and friends have nearly given up hope in regards to this matter, and Tony Stark tries to comfort Peter's aunt and wife, generously offering his hospitality and the Avengers' company should they need it. But before he reaches such a conclusion, the doorbell rings. You... Oh God, oh God, oh God. Peter! MJ, May, I'll never leave you again. Never, never, never. You'd think this is where the story ends, with everyone celebrating his return to the living, or with Peter finally getting to sleep next to Mary Jane after five days. But something still bothers the webhead, and he walks towards that issue seeking an answer. Looking down at his supposed old body, the same question the deity proposed arises. 
Are you the man who dreamed of being a spider? Or the spider who dreamed of being a man? Although the answer remains elusive, Peter is at least sure of one thing, retaking his wedding ring, and he does so before exiting the room, never looking back.